you're kind of like, mm, like making these like kind of sexual, kind of sexual noises. Hi, welcome to Angel's Anything Show. And today we, me and Dan, we are going to give you our top, our top six painting tips because we have just painted this bedroom. I'll show you the before and after right now. Oh, look at that. Okay, I inserted a clip. Pretend like I inserted a clip. Right up here? Over there. Over it. Over our faces. It's not going to happen. So we painted our room. As we? You, it was disgusting. Light to the back wall. And now we have it made over. So we thought we would share with you our top tips so that you would never have to go through what we went through. <laughs> no, it was fine. But here are our top tips for painting because I know for some people it can be intimidating. Uh, number one tip for painting success would be to clean your walls. You don't need to go crazy wiping them, just like to vacuum the corners because there's a lot more dust than you might think. You don't want that stuff getting all over your paintbrushes when you're painting, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna start. Dan says he's an expert. He says he doesn't need to tape anything. And he said that he's gonna do all the details and I'm gonna just do the big brush strokes. You're getting started. Yeah. We haven't seen what it looks like yet. Here we go. <gasps> Ooh. Our number two tip for painting success. Dan, would you like to say this one? No. Because you're so good at it. I don't know number two. The taping, we're cutting it. You take it. You take it. Okay. So before you start with the roll or whatever, you want to do the most annoying part first, which is taping your windows to protect them, or as Dan calls it, cutting, which is not taping, it's just doing it freehand. Mm -hmm. Any tips on that? Just practice, mm. go slow, mm, so patience. Patience is a virtue. You're kind of like, mm, like making these like, kind of sexual, kind of oh. sexual noises. Looks white. <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, it's still gonna look better than this poop color. I know. This color isn't even, this is such a horrible color for a bedroom. It's not even the color of shit brown or vomit, it's like, a baby's diarrhea mixed with puke. All right, our number three tip with something that you told me the whole time. Uh, I'll take over for you. <laughs> this is really starting to cramp my hand up. I feel like um, the guy in Old Man in the Sea at the end. Which means I'm gonna die soon. Spoiler alert. <laughs> And what's the other thing you said? Go slow. Go slow. Because it's fucking boring. What's boring? Painting, it's kind of boring. Watching paint dry is even boring. Yeah, it, painting's kind of boring. You gotta stop with the toe picking. I know it's out of frame, but people can see that you're distracted. Even if it seems like it's gonna take forever, just go slow because when you go fast, that's when accidents happen. All right. <laughs> you gotta wink your eyes off. <laughs> no, I don't need people to see. Why? So look. We've been painting for a while. We? <laughs> and I started to get frustrated because I feel like I'm just really bad at it and I don't know why. And I'm like, I feel like I'm trying really hard and how hard can a roller paint be? But somehow I have paint all over my feet. There's just paint everywhere. And it's like, everything's like running and it just looks terrible. And I'm like, why is this happening? I don't understand. And I just feel really dumb because Dan's like Mr. Cutwork with his painting, like a freaking pro. Like, I just feel like I'm so bad at everything. There's nothing I'm good at. Can you think of one thing? Number four, going with the last one, accidents do happen even when you're really careful and slow. You can get paint different places. So we used big black trash bags to kind of line the floor and you can move them around with you. Um, to keep, make sure you don't like spill on like wood floor or like a rug, especially if you have a rug. And also have a rag, like a damp rag nearby so that if you do get paint on like a wall that you don't want it to get... Did you just fart? No. If you do get paint on like a wall that you don't want to get it on, or if you get it on your feet or your hands or whatever, you can just wipe it down really quickly and it'll, it won't... Once, if it's not dry, it wipes off really easily. So always have like a little rag nearby. You don't want to be running around looking for this shit. Number five, you do not want to skimp on the actual materials that you're using to paint with. What would you say are the most, what materials do you need to paint? Uh, you, paintbrush and paint. Use good paintbrushes. You can get like a cheap painting liner, you know, there's different things you can get cheap, right? 
you're not paying anything for the trash bags, really. And you want to get a paint with a primer in it, like get a higher end paint, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. So, you know, because that's what's going to last. So you want that shit to be nice. And overall, we paid 25 bucks for all of our materials, not counting the paint. We paid 25 bucks. So it's still not that expensive. Okay, what is that? A roller? Would you recommend a roller? Yes. How many? Depending on how many people are working on it, I guess. Yeah. One per person? Sure. And then what is that? You have a metal, a tray, so you need a liner and the tray, right? Yeah, bud. I mean, if you're like a real expert, you probably don't need the tray, but you kind of do. Okay, so you need paint. Um, you recommend what kind of paintbrush? Purdy. Purdy's the best? Mm. Okay. The last tip, number six, to buy your paint in bulk, even if you don't think you're going to need that much. At Home Depot, it costs 15 bucks for one quart of paint. If you were to buy one gallon of paint, it would cost you 30 bucks. And one quart is, there's four quarts in a gallon. So you're like saving double the money, right? Uh, I, yeah. I'm no math whiz, but even if you think you don't need that much, buy extra for touch-ups, whatever. We didn't think we needed that much. We ended up having to go back and buy more. And we spent more money than if we had just bought two gallons at once. So those are the only tips. Just the tip. Just the tips. <gasps> Angela and Dan, just the tips new YouTube channel. So that's all. Thank you for watching this episode of Angel's Anything Show Painting Tips. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> Good was that, job. Was that so bad? Yes. This is a nice background though, huh? It looks good.